Hello everyone, my name is Amanda, aka That Fat Nurse. I enjoy cats, coffee, cursing, so if those things aren't for you, it was nice knowing you. It was short, but I felt like we really had a connection. In today's video, we are going to be doing a tour. We're going to be doing a tour of the background stuff that you see behind me and a lot of the stuff that you can't usually see. So I hope that this is something you enjoy. Hang tight, because we're about to get into it. person who is not so secretly a hoarder. I think that because I have a lot of different interests and a lot of varied interests, I've kind of collected a lot of stuff and things like throughout the years, you know, and it's starting to be a lot. <laughs> the room that I actually film in is the library. The house that I bought is has a formal dining room area that immediately when I bought the house, I was like, I'm never going to use that as like an actual formal dining area, but I'd love to have a library because I'm a nerd. I don't, I don't know how else to say that. I'm a nerd, like that's where it is. So the thing that you see behind me is actually a bookshelf where it has a bunch of books and things that I collect and stuff like that. So that's what we're gonna be going through today and showing you some of the stuff that is in the library, as it were. So this is my setup. There is a couch over here that um, has gotten covered in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you see behind me all the time. This is the library shelves and we're going to go through shelf by shelf and then I'm going to show you some of my other stuff over here and yeah I'm just going to show you everything that I have because I've got a lot of stuff. So up here is one of the shelves that you never really see. I've got a bunch of Disney themed stuff and this is kind of like my Disney shelf. So we have Ah, this is kind of harder to like hold steady and film. So over here is actually a hat, I guess to call it, from Disneyland Paris when we went there when I was a kid. I've got, uh, of course, Powerline. I've got Jasmine, Cusco, Maleficent, Miko, which by the way, those are probably like my two favorite Disney movies is Aladdin and Pocahontas. Like those are my shit. And then we have Abu. We've got Raja, Shere Khan, of course, from Tailspin and the Cheshire Cat. Of course, not fitting in over here is a Snuffleupagus. This was actually the first pop figure that I ever had. Trevor got that for me and it just like, it started a spiral. <laughs> I had actually avoid getting pop figures because I knew it was gonna become a thing and it most certainly has. Over here, I have a unicorn and it is a little unicorn bank. I was gonna say piggy bank, but yeah, it's a little unicorn bank. Over here on the other side is all about some Sailor Moon. I actually have some more stuff that I need to put up here. I you know, we've been in the house for a little over a year and I still haven't completely unpacked. Oh no, Sailor Mars down. Okay, there we go. Uh, so over here we have a Luna P timer that is supposed to be used in the kitchen. Uh, we have the moon rod. We have the outer senshi's transformation sticks over here. Of course, we've got the outer senshi. We've got the royal family. Down here are some little petite charas of the Outer Since She's the Starlights and Sailor Moon, Sailor Chibi Moon, and Sailor Chibi Chibi Moon. And then over here we have the Outer Since She. Can you tell like a theme? The Outer Since She have always been my favorite. I just felt like they were the coolest ones to me personally. And I love Porg. So Trevor got this for me for Christmas where an artist drew the Outer Since She as Porgs. And I just think that is the cutest cutest thing ever. Down here are some ones that I got in a blind box kind of thing. So that's why it's kind of like incomplete and doesn't really match if that makes sense. Like Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, and Sailor Uranus and they're just kind of like thrown together. It's kind of a weird situation. Over here on this shelf, which is what you kind of see behind me a lot of times, is spooky stuff slash dinosaurs. I don't know about you, but Jurassic Park was like my favorite when I was a kid. I remember it came out in the theaters and I was three and my mom was so mad at my grandma for letting me to go see it because that's all I wanted to see was Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. And she actually took me to go see it, a three-year-old to a PG-13 movie. <laughs> the raptors and stuff were absolutely terrifying, but at the same time I thought it was the coolest coolest movie. So over here we've got a glass that Lexi gave me. We've got um, from Studio Ghibli. 
We've got a meow meow. We've got some little knickknacky stuff. I love this bear skeleton. I think he's so cute. And then, of course, we've got some dinosaur pops from Jurassic Park. So this is typically what you see behind me if you can't ever tell what it actually is. Now you know. On the opposite side of that is the other area that you kind of see behind me. So this is a little nesting doll that we got from the Czech Republic. We used to live in Germany and we did a lot of traveling and so that's some one of the things like I still have from my childhood. This is of course the little makeup thing that I have kept over here. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Um, this is a little fortune teller sign I think I got from Kroger maybe one year during Halloween and it actually lights up. This one lights up as well. It's a little candle. Let's see if we can turn it on. And so there, it lights up. It's like one of those little fake tea light things. We've got the little donut over here that we got from, um, I think no make no life. We've got a duck, which is a whole thing that we'll get into in a minute. We've got some skulls over here. I think it turns around and lights up as well. And then we've got some gargoyles because that was probably my favorite Disney show growing up. I love gargoyles. Like that was such a good show. I wish that they would have had more episodes. And to be honest, that's like something I want to buy for myself one day is the whole series on like DVD or whatever. We've got an autograph thing from the Suicide Sirens, which I saw once, which was super cool. We've got an autograph thing from Evan Peters. We've got a Jack Skellington Nightmare for a Christmas snow globe. And then we've got a sign that says the home of a witch and her little monsters. And then this we also got from Miss Lexi and it says more boots please. And it's so cute. So this one's kind of like an odd podge of like horror childhood stuff together, which pretty much sums up my entire collection of things like just hodgepodge mix of stuff together down here we have this lip painting that i got off of poshmark that i really like i did a trade with the lady um i think for the jawbreaker palette and i gave her the jawbreaker palette and she sent me this painting that she made and then we have our little egyptian gods over here because again nerd it was something that always interested me as a kid uh mythology in particular and so, yeah, I think that these little guys are just super, super freaking adorable. And then, of course, we have some textbooks behind here. We've got a mixture of, um, like I said, textbooks and then just regular reading books as well because I keep all of those because I'm a nerd. Over here, we have a collection of comic books slash dinosaur slash squishable slash Lydia Dietz. And we have some manga because I love to read and that's the reason why the couch is in here so I can just chill out here and read a book and just kind of have some mindlessness and it's really good to have that as an option. Over here we have some more books. We've got some Chewies. We've got a like Stormtrooper one and then we've got Chewy with a Porg because I love those fucking porks. We have some books. Some of these are textbooks. Some of these are books like my grandfather used to have. Um, this Shakespeare the Complete Works is a book that my grandfather had and it just has that really old textbooky ancient library book smell to it and I, I don't know why I just love it it reminds me of him somehow over here we have an Ein from Cowboy Bebop an Ed and Ein I'm sorry and then we've got some more comic books and then over here in this section this is about to be super embarrassing this is a bunch of children's books and they're all children books that I enjoyed when I was a kid and I've kind of collected them throughout time um, these aren't my original books. Unfortunately, those were lost when my mom died. Uh, she hadn't kept really good care of the house and stuff. And basically everything I had was destroyed because she was a hoarder. So yeah, I've been like slowly repurchasing all of these books that I had when I was a kid that I really loved and want to share with my future kids. So that's what these are. I have just like a random stack of children's books. And I, I know that seems really weird, but that's just something that I wanted to spread my love of to my future kids. So yeah. And that's pretty much the entire bookcase right there. What do you think of my collection? I think it's cool. Over here is Max's favorite plaything. What I mean by that is he just knocks this over all the time. It is like a ladder bookcase, I think is what it's called. So up here we've got some Xena Warrior Princess action figures. These are not the ones I had as a kid. However, they are the exact same version of the ones that I had as a kid. And I actually found them in Metropolis, Illinois at the Superman Museum. Like, isn't that crazy? Like of all places to find it, that's where I found it. Down here we have a 
Fiona Good right here in the middle for American Horror Story. I also have a Marie Laveau that I need to put in here next to Fiona. Um, I love American Horror Story, Coven. Um, I love American Horror Story in general, but that season I felt was just really great. And then, yeah, ducks. Lots of ducks. I collect rubber ducks, but more importantly, I collect unique rubber ducks. Like they can't just be regular rubber ducks. They have to be unique. So I've got like a flamingo one. I've got a Frida Kahlo. I've got a policeman. <laughs> I've got a one in a unicorn onesie. I've got a sphinx. I've got um, a couple from Chicago. I found some themed ones when I was there. I've got some Halloween ducks. I've got a Pablo Picasso one. Um, yeah, this is some of my ducks. I have more, but this is some of them. It's just something that I kind of started collecting and it's always kind of a challenge and always feels like I am winning in life if I can find one. Over here we have my couch, which has a bunch of fucking boxes from unboxing stuff over here. We've got Frank the Llama, Frank, right there. Uh, <laughs> I call him Frank the Llama because he looks like he belongs to Lisa Frank. And then we've got uh, Marie, we've got some skull pillows, we've got a raven pillow, we've got an Ursula pillow. So yeah, I need to clean this off so I have a place to sit again. And then I have more books. And there, to be honest, there's a bunch of more books and I just don't have any place to put them right now. So I need to get another, I'm wanting to get like another big bookcase like what I have, but I haven't been able to find what I want. And then there's a blankie. So I can cover up and read and stuff, but right now the cats are just kind of laying on it. Over here we have some more decoration signs and stuff that I keep meaning to put up and just never get around to. This freak show one in particular, let me see if I can move it. This freak show one is actually a metal one and it's so cool. Like I love it. I always loved like circus stuff and the old freak shows especially. I did like an entire research paper on it when I was in high school in uh, AP biology and I just find that so fascinating the different things that people had essentially wrong with them that that became their only means of living and I think that's so interesting to me like the different afflictions that these people had. Over here of course we have the Christmas tree it's not plugged in. Yeah I was gonna take this out and never actually did so on it we've got like cupcakes and ducks and foxes and porcupines and sundaes and cats and popsicles and I don't know what else, man. Uh, think there's some chainsaws and dinosaurs and Zelda and lollipops and candy. And yeah, there's a lot happening here. But I love this fucking Christmas tree. It's actually a black Christmas tree. And I love just like the bright neon colors on it. Ugh. I love this damn tree. And then down here we have some dinos. We've got this guy. We've got my little T-Rex over here. We've got some other ones over here. I need to move them around. Um, we've got this T-Rex that I put in like this lamp. And then we have this Triceratops that I also put in this lamp. And both of these, yes, I really did. I went out and bought like fake moss and flowers and stuff and made my own dinosaur in a lamp. Like, that is the kind of person that I am. I'm sorry if the audio sounds a little bit off. Um, so this is in the hallway. This is not in the library. Um, but this is my little horror section over here. We have this bat encased, encased in glass, which I just feel like is so cool and interesting. We have all of my little horror pops. So we've got Elvira, we've got Hocus Pocus, we've got Greta, we've got pretty much everyone over here. We've got Hocus Pocus, of course, being just a fat, useless, and contented house cat. Uh, we've got more ducks. These are my horror ducks. And then we have some amazing rocks over here that Ashley from work paints. I've actually got a few more that I need to put over here. She's super creative. See, look, she made like a haunted house. She she made a mummy like those are just so fucking cool and then of course like I said we've got our bag we've got creep it real and then we've got our little pops Elvira does not want to stand up straight so we just can't move her and yeah there we go this section of course is also not in the library but yeah, this one is kind of cluttered and doesn't really have much cohesiveness going on. So we've got a bunch of like Marie stuff. We've got the porcelain poodles. I don't know why, but I really enjoy those. We've got this cherry blossom tree that my mom bought for me when I bought in, when I moved into my first apartment. So I've just kind of always held on to it. And then we've got some of my drag queens. 
We've got Sharon Needles, Katya, Alaska, uh, Rue, of course, and then we've got Miss Trixie. And then over here, we have my signed copy of a RuPaul's Guru book. The Forward by Jane Fonda. Like, how beast are you that you have just Jane Fonda just wanting to forward your books for you? I don't know. I feel like that's super cool. So yeah, that's some of that stuff. So yeah, that's it for my tour. What do you think about my stuff? I feel like I've got really cool stuff, but you know, I'm obviously a little bit biased as far as that goes. Did you see anything in my collection that you hadn't really noticed before or that you didn't know that I was into before or something that reminded you of your childhood or you're like, oh my God, I used to love that. Like, does any of my things and stuff and shit remind you of that kind of like nostalgia? I'm just really interested to know. I'm always interested to hear what people are into. I feel like everyone's a nerd in some degree, but you're just nerdy in other things, whether it be makeup or sports or trivia or science or math, which I just don't understand, but okay, you do you. Do you enjoy this kind of video? Is this something that you're interested in seeing? Do you want to see the rest of my house? I don't know if the rest of my house is that clean. We might have to hold off on that. But let me know down below. That does it for me. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one.